Uh, good evening again. Uh, welcome to another video. I've had a couple of questions about how I'm going to use the power supplies for LEDs and uh, point motors. Well, I'm not going to use any juice from the controller to run LEDs or point motors. I'm going to use a couple of these PC power supplies. I've got three of these. One I'm going to use for the LEDs and one for the point motors. And I'll just quickly show you what you get with one of these. These are fantastic if you can get hold of some. For a standard PC, it is a power supply. Strip them out. You've got all these cables here. A lot of them you can use. The first thing you need to do to get this to work, this is actually plugged in. I don't know if you can hear that. It's spinning around there. It's actually plugged in. The first thing you need to do to well, sort of trick the power supply into thinking it's still connected to the PC is connect black and green together. There is only one green. There are plenty of black, but it doesn't matter which one you connect to. You can connect to any black. This just bypasses the switch on the power supply, thinks it's still connected to a PC, and on it comes as soon as you apply the mains. Plugged into a standard socket. So say first thing to do, connect the black and the green together. Okay, that then gives you quite a few outputs. Any black and yellow, that's black and yellow, gives you a 12 volt supply output. Okay, any orange there's a load of oranges there and a black give you 5 volts output I'll show you that in a moment and any red and black give you 3 volts again for LEDs I'll just quickly show you on the uh, multimeter I got there just rigged up exactly what I mean just put this down Right, hopefully you can see that multimeter. Okay, so let's quickly run to 12 volts. Here's my power supply. I can still see that there. Okay. Okay, so I've got black and yellow, which is going to give me 12 volts. Okay, right in to the yellow. And black into common black there you go hopefully you can see that on the multimeter over there I've got 11.99 volts constant and as I say you've got other outputs at the same time 5 volts and 3 volts I'll show it again there you go any black and yellow Okay, let me quickly show you the other outputs. I'll just turn this around. Here's the mix of power solution. Obviously you can cut this off, this connector block here. <coughs> Let's quickly show you orange and black. Okay, there's the black. So we've got black there. And any of the orange. Let's try the one next to it. There you go, just over 3 volts, 3.43 volts. Again, perfect for running 3 volt LEDs. I know there aren't many of them, but you can, still, you can get them. Okay, let's try a red and black this time. There's a red and a black. Okay, red in there, and a black. And there you go, red and black, 5 point one five volts again perfect for running LEDs on your, on your layout so as I say I've got multiple outputs here from one power supply which is absolutely fantastic okay hope that helps any questions please feel free to ask 